My name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and I am back with Buster, aka Banshee, and Social General Rob Hello. for some more action on Carver Pie. And we are back at Carver's Market um, for essentially our second strategic round. It is now um, five hours past um, initial landing of the Wolf Forces. And this, um, I'm anticipating we're going to be fighting two battles on this map. Um, in quick, su quick succession. They might be part of this, this same video, or I might split them into two videos. It just depends on how they go. And um, we're going to go over our forces, go over the damage that our forces has, have sustained, because um, some of the units in the forces that are being fielded have not had time to repair yet. Um, although a fresh force from their side is coming in. So, real quick for logistics, I'm going to attempt with my camera to use the manual focus function because I don't want you guys to notice that my past bat reps because of the detail on these maps my camera the autofocus keeps going blurry back to focus back to blurry because it doesn't know what to focus on so I'm going to experiment for the first time manual focus so bear with me on that but hopefully you guys will actually be able to see the mix better and they won't just be blurring out randomly while we're rolling dice etc <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah so and also don't forget about the giveaway so don't forget to subscribe and comment in the videos for the january february giveaway which march 1st i'll be announcing the winner which has now battletech stuff in it since we're doing battletech as well as star wars armada stuff so um let's go to go over the forces so the situation is that the capellans the remnant forces of the first battle of, Carver, of carver's market and fort bengal have joined up and are, yes, <laughs> and they are coming in quick with reinforcements coming down from, uh, what was the place? That's Stiletto Valley. Stiletto Valley. Stiletto. And which is a, you'll, as you'll soon see, is not a full lance. It is uh, understrength by one mech. Basically trying to trap and eliminate my wounded Striker Star, which has not had a chance to repair. So I'll go over my forces first. The situation I have is that my Wolfen Hotel lost a leg and I had chosen that to be the first one to repair because it's the only one that can be repaired in one strategic turn um, based on the um, repair facilities at this location. However, the pilot of my Warwolf H, which had its Gauss rifle blow up in its arm, um, Rachel Wolf, had suffered uh, four pilot hits and it only takes six to kill you. So she was in the medical bay. Um, so then we get word now, and we also have not had a chance to rearm. Our ammo depletion has remained the same, because this location doesn't have any supplies for rearming and resupplying. Uh, we got word that these forces are coming in, and that reinforcements won't arrive in time. The elemental star of the entire strike for Nova is on its way, but it's six minutes out. Which, uh, six minutes in an actual Battletech game is, I think, 60 turns. So it's gonna have to we're gonna have to do some strategic time loops to have for their reinforcement. Actually, Thirty-six. Ten seconds turn. Ten six turns a minute. Okay, I can't do math. Don't mind, don't mind me, guys. <laughs> anyway, they're <laughs> way too long to put a battle tech in, right. in an actual battle tech. Yeah. So if you want to do sixty turns, no. well, gladly I'll let you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the. Uh, Unfortunately, due to the nature of repairing the mech, especially the attaching a leg, we were not able to get the Warwolf or the Wolfen H, you know, pulling the wires and everything out. It's just, it's a mess. But we were able to pull Rachel Wolf out of her, the medical bay because we don't, even if we might lose a mech, we don't want to lose a pilot. Um, so she has been strapped into her Warwolf and in the Rumble Seat. What Rumble Seats are, they're basically passenger seats inside mechs. Um, very uncomfortable to ride in. You can't do anything there, you're just a passenger along for the ride. Right. And the pilot... Oh, yeah. think about that. Yeah, it does, it's so if that mech falls, is she an automatic hit? I would say an automatic pilot hit, because yeah. it doesn't have this full six-point harness yeah. of the pilot. Yeah. 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 Ouch. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Atris Fetla Draw, who is the pilot of the Wolfen H, is piloting the Warwolf H. Yeah. And we talked that beforehand, yeah about you know how we want to work with the rules of piloting a mech, especially in a mech class that you're not familiar with. Um, I won't go into the full rules because I don't want to take up too much time, but 
Um, as it stands, because they're planers, they're more efficient. I mean, they're trained since birth because they're they're born as adults essentially to be warriors and pilot mechs. Um, but they still gonna have penalties. So Atrus is gonna have a plus one penalty for gunnery. The reason why that is is because the weapon profiles are actually almost exactly the same between the two mechs. Yep. But because it's a different weight class, he's gonna have a plus three pilot penalty. So for this game, while he's piloting a mech that he's not familiar with, um, he is going to be a 4-5, um, which is really bad, especially for a claner, but functional enough to pilot the mech. To get off the board. And to get off the board. That's, I mean, the mi there's actually multi-tiered mission orders that came in from Star Colonel Natasha Reams for this force, and the one of them was, was to get that Warwolf Age with Rachel Wolf off the board to get her out of the combat zone. And destroy so. the demolisher. Well, that is the the rest of the right, yeah. the ones that are not going to be retreating immediately will be to destroy that demolisher tank. Um, because if we don't, with the reinforcements coming in with the elementals on this map, six minutes is plenty of time for that demolisher to get over into there. Yeah. And from safety, just lob missiles from safety and just wreck havoc. So we're at the very least do enough motive damage to turn into a pillbox. Right. So it has to stay on that. Yeah, there. So the <laughs> can come in and, and, and finish it off. Right. So that, that's, yeah. And also the orders are that, you know, for Star uh, Commander Marcus Shaw is for the, the mechs that are not just running off turn one to, again, harass, do as much damage as you can, but don't linger. Because we, um, what we really need is our elemental support to come in because it's five fully functional elementals that have not been damaged yet, which could help swing the balance of power. Big time, yes, so, that huge. So that's where we're at. The uh, my Warwolf Prime, my mech, my Star Commander's mech is actually pretty untouched. <laughs> yeah, pretty much untouched. Mm -hmm. He only got hit twice by light weaponry, so he's in good shape. Um, my Warwolf Charlie, um, Angel Valdor's mech. Um, she actually got lit up pretty good. She lost her targeting computer, so she's not going to have her targeting computer for this match because it hasn't had a chance to repair it yet. Um, and then the other one that's going to be primarily um, in the fight is uh, my Wolf and Bravo, the one with the ER large with targeting computer. That is Tony Ward's mech. And untouched. Untouched. Yeah, never got shot at. So. It's not terrible, but when you see the forces coming in, it's one where we can't stay for a prolonged fight. It really is just to see if we can destroy or disable that demolisher before we basically withdraw and then come back in for a second round of fighting without the artillery <laughs> wrecking havoc. Right. So we'll have to see how that plays out. All right, so the compelling forces, what do we got? Well, we've got the two intact battle armor squads, uh, no damage, that we hear their small laser. They were the ones here before from the first battle of Carver's Market. And we have the Demolisher untouched uh, from the Battle of Fort Bangle. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Yuhan, which is the only one that's got damage. Yeah, but that was here before, too. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And just, let's see, I'm trying to remember. Uh, let's see. It got hit pretty good. It got hit pretty good, but it's, uh, but it's still a 90 ton man. Yeah, it's a 90 ton man. It's got a lot of, a lot of armor. Yeah, I mean, the. The left arm is the only thing that's down to about half armor. Yeah. Um, nowhere else is it really hurting at all. No. no. And then, so now we have our under under strength. Under strength. Yeah. The reinforcements coming in. So this, unfortunately, Lance was not completely. Plus it was backstory. I thought you had that. Yeah, backstory. I was thinking uh, eighty-five thousand BB, not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, that's weird. <laughs> they're, they're supposed to be, it was still cats and dogs, it was only five units to begin with, because it was just a compilation of everything left right. over from the original metal of the carbon fire. Right. But the, uh, we had to remove two more units from it, so a regulator tank and a Jengao. So yeah. it left us with a snake, uh, Omni Blackjack, and a uh, Vindicator. Yeah. So, five of them. What I'm curious, with this combined force coming together, who is the operational commander for this force? It's going to be the snake pilot. The snake pilot, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, although Mao definitely... He comported himself right. well. He, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he so, said there's no land over there. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. 
but uh, yeah, but uh, it's uh, Paisan. I forget what Paisan's first name is. Uh, Paisan Gal. Um, to oh. start, um, I'm starting with hidden units and um, waiting in ambush. And um, Rob and Buster have already declared they can only enter from one map sheet. That's how we designed this map. Mm -hmm. But they've also declared their angle of entrance, or like, what, you know, what I always say, declared. They've, you know. Yeah, we know where we plan on going. If, if yeah. there's nothing seen, which there probably won't be, we know where we're going. Yeah, yeah. it's already been declared. That way, we can't adjust because you know there's stuff we know. Like he's never told us he wants to kill the demolisher. We just right. Like, right. right. Yeah, it, it makes yeah. sense. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, 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 <laughs> and uh, yeah. Right. And, and we don't. They're, know. they're not complete fools. Yeah. And, and he hasn't told us he has uh, you know, units hidden in the water around yeah. the uh, entrance island there yeah. on the atolls. But we know there's water. Mexico, yeah. Water. yeah. But yeah. these folks may or may not. You know, yeah. Because we we see until as yeah. players, you know, that, that the character. Yeah, it's important things. when you're playing, especially like you know, the same thing with role playing games. When you're playing like a strategy campaign, is separate what you know as a player from what you know your forces would know. Right. right. So, yeah. so yeah, don't so. play them too dumb. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. you got you got to. The demolisher probably goes as a target. I would yeah. doubt that. I, I think all tank pilots in Battletech yes. know that they... Yes, exactly. Let me just stay behind the mech. You guys go and just... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if only a mech could block by the sky. If I could right. just stay behind yeah. this mountain back here. Yeah, right. 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 <laughs> Not have some mech come running up at me. Yeah. Hey, right. There's a mech coming around the mountain. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Alright, so um, we'll go to... Um, coming up next will be start of round one where they'll do their entrance. And then uh, I'll declare if I want to reveal anybody. And yeah, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, going to kind of take back my statement. I'm not sure how good my attempting to manual focus is going to work. <laughs> I still just need to, there's so many settings in this uh, camera. But anyway. So we went over some of the verified some rules, etc. So any mechs that are underwater are undetectable by mechs above the water. Um, and I went ahead and declared, uh, so declaring revealing of mechs is, we did it sort of wrong during the Bengal match uh, yeah. because you can declare during phases. Um, so I decide to declare, you declare after initiatives rolled. So start of the movement phase, if I want to move, I have to declare, so declare two mechs. You can also declare at the start of the shooting phase, but it just means you don't have a movement modifier because you didn't move if you want to shoot at something. And I think we're about to see Battletech physics in action. Yeah, Battletech yes. physics. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is my Warwolf H with Atris Fetladral piloting. This is not his normal mech. And in the rumble seat is Rachel Wolf, who is severely injured. Um, their goal is just to get off the map. Um, and then this is my Warwolf Charlie, which is uh, Angel Valdor. Um, she would be underwater too, but she actually has an open location on her mech. And if you're underwater, if location on your mech is exposed to water, it is destroyed if it doesn't have armor here. So, so now um, I lost initiative, so this is actually good. I have to move one first. Oh no, I have to. So. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, off. Well, piloting skill roll. Oh, yes, piloting skill roll. <laughs> that was the most critical piloting skill yes, roll. Yes, yes, yes. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll just do this off camera. <laughs> it's going to be straight up. Got it. I made it with a seven, and I actually, and I needed a six. Yep. Because I have a, <laughs> yeah, because it was a mech that I'm not familiar with. Well, uh, actually, so. Or five, five. Isn't it five? No, we've been six. We've been six. So six. barely made. So we had a good chance of that skidding and going skidding in the water. Skidding and falling in the water, and that would have been really bad. That would have been cool. <laughs> so, right, so, so what's the ironic? Again, Battletech physics, because that that mech literally ran by with out as much as a parting shot. Parting shot. A Hugh Wong walking Hugh Wong. on. <laughs> probably because Hugh Wong is jumping. That's that's probably. Yeah. So I basically ran under as the Yukon's coming up and basically, and quote unquote, yeah. Battletech physics, this, that world is now just hauling ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Running towards the elementals yes. and uh, 
Save us. And and we'll just you know say it because of, again BattleTech yeah. how it works. Yeah. Um, the compelling forces are too, are committed now entering and they can't. Yeah, they're not worried about that. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's, you want to buy it's gonna go right by a demolisher tank. Yeah. It's gonna go by a, anyway. Yeah. Because there's right on this space where the Yuhuang is, mm -hmm. there are seven units there right now. So we are violating all BattleTech stacking. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but anyway, so now, do we want to bring the Yuhuang in first? Would it have jumped still? Yeah, no. Well, we you didn't have to declare that. That, yeah, that was. Just need to. Yeah. I was joking. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you guys can see on camera or not, believe it or not, it was going to jump in where that map is. Well, we do need to block this. We need something yeah. to be here. Mm -hmm. um, and that is actually the best one. You think it's the best one? Well, I don't know about that. Um, and if you guys didn't notice, I'm also declaring for our quote unquote second battle that probably is going to happen. Um, the Warwolf H, I put the model away because they will not be present. He can walk through that. <laughs> he can walk through that. Though. He can, but you know what? That's all we need to block it. So you need to block it because mm -hmm. he can't go through it. Yep. Okay. And we'll have to yeah. jump over it. Yeah. Which then? Yeah. So. What do you think? Oh wait, one, two, three. Was that? Or do you want to go here? This was our there. original. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I think I say you do three, right? Yep, we do, we do. Yep. So, so this is one for three, one for jumping, one for elementals, and one for woods. One for jumping, one for elementals. Yeah. And when you hear us say one for elementals, that's a dispersion. Yes, yeah, dispersion. So that one model you're seeing on there is actually representing, in this case, four. Small, it's thinking of them like Iron Man suits, and they're they're not sitting together in a cluster, they're all like scattered about, jumping around. Um, so. That's except for the last one, too. Uh, <laughs> same, I think the same type version. One, two, three. Just go here to. Yeah, just to cause a sure. problem with that. Yeah. Okay, and move your last one. Jumped four, that gets you two, there's light woods there, so okay. Okay. Uh is it a plus one to jump into water? Uh, minus one pounds. No no modifier movement wise. To jump. No, I mean like uh minus is isn't when you jump one. into water you have to make a pilot and still check? Minus one. Okay, so this it, would be it's hard. a good it's, it's a better oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so she will then, one, two, three, jump into this level one water, because her legs are not exposed yet. And I'll just add in the partial cover from the water. There. Okay. Interesting. You want to try to move it? I'd say so. You're not on the spine. We could go there. One, two, three. No, we can't. Can't quite get there. We can't get to the top one. Yeah, we can't get to that one. So we. So one, need two, three, four. Yeah, four. You can go there and there. Those are the last two. And there. Actually, you're not on the spine there either. That's not a bad spot. It's not a bad spot. Of course, we're not picking up anything with it. We have, we have, let's see, ECM. Still the armor's not No, not this close. Huh. Yeah, I think our only probe. I don't think. I think we're about to, the only probe is about to come out. Yes, this is our only probe. So anything, everything on this island is in line of sight. So anything above ground? You do not detect anything. Okay. 
And we don't even get jammed. Three is two, plus one is three. Okay, last but not least, blackjack. Well, if they're underwater, which they have to be because there's nothing on the island. Right. They can't shoot from underwater. True. Because we didn't land in water. Although I thought about it just to get close, but I don't have the movement to make it worthwhile. Right. So it's it's not like yeah, I guess it's nothing else is going to shoot us this time. Because even right. if you were able to shoot, you couldn't shoot anything that wasn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Next turn. But we have enough movement to be on. Right, that's it. You okay with that? Yeah, I think we just do it. Yeah, go for it. Just see what a lance of Intersphere Max can do to one. One Clan Mac on a partial cover. Yeah, just need lots of leg attacks. Lots of leg attacks. Fives and nines. <laughs> lots of fives and nines. Lots of head attacks. Hit the head. Hit that head. Nail that head. I'm ready to receive uh, Angel Maldor. You're about to get a an eye full of Yes. Okay. Uh, Death heads. Death heads for the gods. Okay. Okay, so Yu Huang is a two. You want to jump next to the five, six, seven, eight. No intervening terrain. Correct? Yeah. Uh, from the Yu Huang? Yeah. I think everyone should have a clean shot. Uh, yep, that's what it looks like. All right. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, Gauss Rifle. Oh, oh We might on. actually open with a hit. Come and on, come goodness, come on. No, we it's a hit. Yes, oh my hits. goodness, 15 points. Yeah, already changed. To the center torso. Yeah, nice. Right. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's like watching BLA. <laughs> right, yeah. So 15 points center torso with the Gauss Rifle. Now, and now on. we've got we do three to Yeah. Same thing, eight eight with the ER medium laser. So we got one miss, we got one hit, and we got another miss. So just do the location real quick. Five points to the center torso. Oh wow, nice. Uh, 20 right there. Ooh. Yep, and that's 20, yay. So a good spot too if you do fall. Okay, and we got another hit. Hey, the Capellan dice are on fire. Wrong. That's because they're mad. Yeah, after, yeah, exactly. It <laughs> could very well be. And that's another. Ah! There's the leg. Dang it, see? They got too cocky. Dice that cocky. Mm -hmm. Okay, then moving on. Uh, let's yeah, see. Over there. Yeah. Let's see. Let's, let's do the, uh, yeah. the snake. And uh, gunnery two. Jumped, makes them a five, six, seven, eight. Snake. Pair eight. And we got one hit, two wow. hits. Nice. Turn around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got the head for 10. Oh. And the left arm for 10. Okay. Ooh. That'll be possible for it on the head. Yeah. Nice. He better not come out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so here go uh, possible critical on the head. No crit. Nah. Come on. And then the heat. So plus five heat. Okay. Okay. And then that's it. So, wow. That's a good opening there. All right. Good going there. And then moving on. That actually makes it better yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, consciousness check. Oh, that's right. Awake. Oh, yeah. Okay, now for the black deck. And it's a clean shot as well. Gunnery skill 2, jumped, makes him 5, 6, and 8. That's so, it. And it is 2 away, so it's going to be 6 as well. So the first. 8. Doing an 8 with the large laser. That's a hit. Nice. Wow. Yep. And then you have to hit that, make sure. Yeah. And that's, uh, wow, 8 points. 
Good luck, Torso. All right. All right. Those torsos. Okay. And then the two mediums. No, these are just regular mediums. Uh, Unless you want to do pulses, you're right. Medium pulses need sixes. We miss with one and hit with the other. And six points. To center torso. Yes. That's so great. Mm -hmm. Here, let's see. Let's let the Capellan dice. All right, so. No! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, last but not least, eights for two meters. Yep. Two hits. Dang. This is a night and day difference from the uh, from last, yeah. last two games. Yeah, it is. Location. Okay, center torso and right. So, five points center torso. That's what great. We found a leg now. Yeah, we found legs, yeah. Don't want to. We're getting better. Two two. Okay. There we go. So starting off your PPC. Let the controller nice. Have a chance to redeem themselves. And they do! Ooh, nice. Okay, because he's a two, no, a three. Okay. The vindicator's a three. I like. Yeah, so it should have been enough. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, 10 points. Ah, oh, right leg. Nothing there. Okay. I don't, think I don't think they like location. I don't think the film has like locations at all now. So, the two medium pulse lasers named sevens. Uh, miss and hit. Black guys are on fire. And location. Uh, oh, wow. Right leg, okay. Not good. And the small pulse laser needs the same thing as a nine. Nope. Okay. So, wow. So, the hey, indicator's hot. Yep. And the special should be. And I think that is everything. Should mark off the ammo for the. Um, yeah, mark it down. Out. I'm going to go mark off. Yeah. That was quite the beating. But you survived. Still survived. Yeah, hopefully you fall and kill yourself. I hope I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, return fire onto the snake. I'm assuming the snake is the one that's right in my face. Yes. Because I don't want to kick to the punch table. Uh, so I'm going to need uh, eights for my ATMs with HE ammo and a six for the large pulse. We will start with the six for the large pulse. It hits. Ten points to your right torso. Ten points, right torso. Got it. Okay. And then a couple eights. Both hits. Oh, shoot. Not good. I'm sorry. There's ACM. ACM, yeah. So, I'm going to this bonus on this. Six and six. Okay. Will get me four times three is twelve. So, two fives and a two twice. Yep. White dice will be the twos. Yep. All right. So, we got left torso for five. Got it. Well, I'm sorry, that was left arm, my bad. Okay, I got that too. Yeah. Uh, and right arm for five, and then left torso for two. So I, I did see a left torso. Yeah, you did. I did see one. Just to the wrong one. Okay. And then right arm for five, left arm for five. Wow, okay. So well, there's all the armor off those. And center torso for two. Okay. And then okay. I need a four for my piloting skill. And I make it here. Ooh, I saw the one. I got one. Well, <laughs> and we need a four as well. Not rolling the dice. No, we're not. Got it. Oh, yeah. One dice type behind your back. All right. Oh, oh, oh. very nice. And now it's physical. Uh, yeah, so you're going to drop. Yeah, do the kick. Do the kick. Good. Uh, you guys did physicals on me last battle, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I will be doing a punch then. Yeah, figure it out. Okay, so three, I jumped six. So yeah. seven, eight, nine, minus two, seven. Seven, yeah. yeah. Five. Ah. Do. So they fall. Do we fall? So they fall. Oh, no. Oh. So close. Close. That was, yeah, great timing skill roll. Yeah. And, uh, Wobbly uh, kick. Okay, and now um, your lunch is straight up, so I just need a nine. Yeah. Nine. Looks like 
Looks like you got your open halfway there. Oh, oh, this is a nice good. Yep. And with the plasma rifle, I go up to four heats over. Oh. Okay. All right, well, that was pretty brutal. That's right, this is one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's see, one for elevation, one for the hex, one for the woods. Two for elevation, because it's a level two water, right? Oh, wait, is it level two? Yeah. Yeah, it's level two. Yep, yep, okay, yeah, two. So four. that should be so four, yeah, one, two, just to do three, four. Yep. 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 Five, six, seven, so that should be at a minus one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the turn, yep. And so I make that automatically. Four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. So this one might be straight up. Let's see, 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, see, the straight up plus 1. Go ahead. Uh, roll it. I need a 3. Uh, roll it. Yeah. It's 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. As this speedy little mech just emerges out of the water, droplets falling down. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, five to seven is plus one. So gotcha. Three to four, three to four, three to four to zero, three to four to zero. And you guys didn't see that move because I didn't zoom the camera out. Sorry, guys. There, so that's where he ran off to with his 20 hex move, or 20 point move, 12 hex move. And three to you. Hmm. Or wow. Vindicator? Or what do you play? Yeah. The snake. Oh, the snake, sorry. Maybe we'll have to move one more after this time. Yeah. The nice thing about that is five is three is four modifier, which is nice. Um, we can move the blackjack there. Yeah, keep the woods covered. Yeah. I'm almost tempted just to do the back because the back armor is almost. 
almost better. <laughs> but, uh, but even the left torso is better than the center. Yep, we'll do that. Okay. So that'll be an all make on her if I was in check. So there's a one for. Well, it should be a. Two. Oh, yeah, you got three hexes? Three hexes. Yeah, yeah plus the, the water. One, two, three. Hmm. Eh, well. Do you want to wait? I can't. And you guys have to move all of your mechs mm -hmm. now. Yeah. It's going to be a jump. He has many choices to make. Well, really just one. Uh -huh. um, we have our primary target, so that's what we're going for. Basically doing this move here. Okay. Zero. At a run. Where is it? And everyone that can is yep. shooting at the tank. Yep. Which is everyone. Right, so we shoot at first. So shoot at the big guy first, and a six with the ghost rifle. All right, but in that star commander, Marcus Shaw. So Mal, can Mal continue to be the hero? Come on, Mal. Now. Yes! Barely, but it is. It's a six. Hey, hit the hit. <laughs> Location, you want to use the compelling dice or? Nope. Is that anything else? Nope. Death, that is death. Then. 15 points to the right torso. torso. Alright. That's actually a lot of bad stuff to hit. Probably not. Okay, so that's an opening. Yep. So 15 points, right torso of the commander. Yes. Okay, now these are the ERB lasers going into the wounded guy in the water. Yes, secondary target. Well, we're primary. Oh, this is the primary target. Yes, because you can't shoot, you cannot shoot a secondary right. target outside the primary arc until you shoot yep. other primary target. So basically, he turned and reached his arm back and shot here, and then the rest is coming and yeah. taking and, and he pivoted, if anyone cares, to the right. Yep. So that his right arm, because you can shoot directly behind you with an arm. Yes. And only one of the torso yeah. twist. So he torso twisted to the right. And so the right arm shot directly behind, and then all six ER medium lasers are firing right along there because his front arc right now looks like that. Correct. So he's got six ER medium lasers going into that now. Yes, indeed. And these actually have better shots. Well, I think they're actually three, six. Four, five, six. Yes. Yes, so six. Okay. Three. I'm just going to roll them all off. Okay. Yeah. So all hit so far. And the next three. No. And yep, hit, wow. hit. So six. You hit all six he, times, he right? This guy needs to be um, promoted to a little bit. I, I think he will. If he survives. If he survives, yeah, he needs to be promoted. Yep. Yeah. So here's, let's see. Uh, you need a bunch of nines. Or eights. Eights. No, nines. Eights. Nine five. No, nines are okay. Eights. 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 Oh, wait, this is my left. No, eights. Ah, we got your left torso for five. Well, so this is, uh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Left torso for five. Ah, uh, curses. I think you got your knee. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. No, this the left torso for five. Well, that was just the first one, okay. Yeah, uh, then we'll be second. It's in the left side, we have these automatically. Yeah, I say we, it's me and the bus. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I know one of them's going to be the left leg. But I think the other one's left leg. Yeah, so what is that, a six and a five? Yeah, six and a five. All right, so left leg and five is arm. So yeah. leg okay. no damage, arm, one, two, three, four, five. One point of armor left there. Okay. And go again. Uh, got the left arm again. Okay, possible crit. Oh, wow. Okay. And then we're going to have your left torso for that. Torso, okay. And I think we have the... 11, I would say, is the right leg. 11 is the right leg, so yeah, no damage. No damage and no crit. Okay, but we got the 20 damage. So yep. at least you got pawn and skill roll. Indeed. Part of me doesn't, well, if you do, you still get their out. You don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, good good opening. Yeah. It's up to you now. 35 points of damage. No, that's what you need to get with everything. Yeah. Well, yeah, including the leg. So do we want to, uh, 
So let's do the Vindicator. Yep, the Vindicator will keep it on the, the uh, Wounded Mech and Jewel Valve Door. Yep. And. Okay, uh, here goes nothing. Sorry. Okay, so first. Um, the let me see if I need here. Okay. Seven? Or what stasis? Are you in two bases? We've got three bases and a pot now. So oh. three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. So now eight. 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 So eight, eight. eight for yes. two medium pulses. Alright. And miss and hit. The black dice are on fire. Yeah. Okay. Six points. On my back. I don't want to back on my back. Come on back. There. Right towards the rear. Right towards the rear for six. Normally you don't want to get shot in the back on your front. It's looking as bad as hers is. On heavier mechs, yeah. you can take around the back shots. So a 10 <laughs> for the uh, ER medium. Nope. And then I'm going to just do a small laser real quick for 10. Nope. And then last but not least, an 8 for the small pulse. Okay, smiles hit. Location. location? Nope. Don't want that location. <laughs> so is this two points or three points? Three points. Three points. Yep. Three points. Oh! oh wow. Left arm. Left arm rear. Yeah. Possible crit. Oh, well, that's right. Nice. There's nothing in there. It's just one like, crit. It's heat sinks and actuators. Uh, upper lower? Uh, so lower. One or two. Lower and three. Roll. Roll. Three roll. Three roll. Upper, 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 And it was more, the black dice are on fire. Mm -hmm. I'm almost thinking we're going to have to do a water test. Now is there a water yeah. test? Okay. Okay. Center torso. Okay. Right leg. Left leg. <laughs> and center torso. Nice. Right. That could have been worse. Well, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I don't have five points of armor left there. <laughs> okay. All right, then my star commander ready to receive the remainder of your fury. Yes, yeah, so just open up the snake. Haizang, Haizang Gao. Oh, come on, Haizang Gao. Do your thing. Two, jump to five. Jump. Yep. And you're the best shot you ever get at him. Yep, <laughs> Especially for this weapon. Well, hit with one, hit with two. There you go. Okay. So these are ten pointers each. Low pressure. You got your center torso and your right arm. Okay. So center torso for ten, right arm for ten. And heat. Six points of heat. Let me just double check here, is that going to matter yet? No. This is actually an extraordinarily heat efficient match. Well, that's that for that. And with me jumping and firing everything plus that heat, still not over yet. Still not over yet. Yeah. It's insane. Well, you're not jumping. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I ran. I couldn't. Yeah. yeah. So it's actually so even better since I didn't. Wow. Okay, and then the blackjack. Blackjack has decided he's firing everything to PPC. So, let's start off with two large lasers. So, two jumped five. I think that's all you need. And I think there's a wood in between. Uh, oh, oh no, yeah. no, no, no. There's, oh, you know, there's, didn't matter, they still hit. But I forgot the wood on the. Yep, the but I think you, you, you hit by, more, hit than by more than enough. Yep, more than enough. So, here goes the, the blackjack. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely a two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, then we'll roll to six on each dice. So the one, two, seven. Yeah. So, yeah. So five, so two. Yeah, three, four, five. I, just, I can't believe I can't get over this mod mark. I don't usually stand still or give you zero mods. So right. this is uh, <laughs> yeah. 
What the heck? This is very, I mean, even with my assault knife, I like to try to keep them moving. Yes. Okay. Well, two large lasers. And we have got one out of two. Okay. Yeah. But the black dice are still on. No, they are doing great. Eight points, Eight points to your left arm. Okay. You want to say I appreciate you spreading all this damage around? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then we have two medium lasers. Same thing. We both hit. Mm -hmm. Five each. And the pulses first. And we got the left arm for five, and the right arm for five. Okay. And then the medium pulse lasers need three. They hit. So we've got your left arm oh. for six. Now you're your focusing. Left leg for six. Uh, and we're off on the left arm. Okay. And then last but not least, a small laser. That's it. Mm -hmm. And that's three points. Let's see if I can get one. Yeah, left arm. Possible crits, uh, just, there's nothing in there, but could blow it off or something. Upper, oh, wait, possible crits. Yeah. No. Okay. okay. And then the Pashi. Okay. So, do they both have the same? So, this one's firing through one wood, this one's firing through two woods. Okay. And it's also long range for both. So, the yeah. Pashi. Their skill is three, so... Seven base plus woods. Three, seven, eight, so an eight and a nine. Eight and a nine, yep. So here goes the eight. Ah, and here goes the nine. Ah, that's the first time the black dice have missed. All right, that was a lot of good fire. The key will come down to the piloting skill checks for all three of my mechs. All right, Mr. Demolisher, are you ready to receive? No. <laughs> Can we just skip this phase and move on? To yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we will start with my Wolf and Bravo, the one on the left side of your screen there, guys. Tony Ward, she is going to send down an ER large at medium range. She's a two, she ran a four. Your modifier of one makes it a five. Wood, or at medium range, makes it a seven. Target appear down to a six. So a six for an ER large. It hits. Two points. Let's get snake eyes or box cards. Let's start getting those motives off. Actually, let's go to turret. I like the turret. Yeah. I like the turret. Uh, nine. Uh, actually, no. Left side. Motive. All right. So, so with vehicles, um, they're very easy to crit out, <laughs> or at least their movement. Uh, six. I don't think that gets me anything. Uh, six is minor damage plus one minor harm. So we need to add oh, we need to add one for tracked. Yeah, no, tracked is zero. Tracked is zero. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was just looking to make sure. Yeah. So six minor damage plus one modifier to driving skill rules. So wait, that's it. Yep. Just plus one. Yay. Okay. So you're not slowed down yet. Yeah. Even if I don't destroy it, I want to make you immobile. <laughs> So now driving skill roll is basically a step. Gotcha. Okay. I like that one. That's a good one because it doesn't yep. stand down. So, so far, one out of three done. Yep. Not bad. So now we're going to do the, the my commander. <coughs> so he has the big gun. This will be into your right side. Yes. So he's a one. He ran makes him a three. Your modifier makes it a four. Minimum range for the gauss makes it a six. But target gear is back down to a five. You can roll a four. It's a number of <laughs> dice. You can do it many different ways. You can do it two twos, or one of the three, yep, or yep, three yep. one. There are those possibilities. Or I could roll a ten. Or you could just roll, you know, yeah. yeah. dice, which any one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah. And that'll be 15 points to the six uh, so on the left, left side. side. On the right side. Right. Oh, right side, yes. Yeah, right side. And I think a six might. Oh, we got lucky there. It's just in. Ah, so dang. 15. This is demolisher. Half the armor stripped off the sides. Roll over. Yeah. Full ton of armor slag just exploded in shards. Yes. High velocity. 
Perfect. So, but, but just barely missed the track. <laughs> Hit the right. actual armor. Hit the actual armor, yes. Yeah. All right, so the LRMs, um, one, command three, your modifier four, so they just need fours because they don't have any no minimum, minimum range. range. What, what is it with that? Uh, both hit, one barely. See, <sighs> 10 and 8. That'll uh, actually be uh, 6 and an 8. Yep. So we will start with the 5 and 1. No, 5 will be the 1. That's the 1. Alright, so we start. Ooh, ooh. boxcars. Boxcars is a turret, Boxcar. possible crit. On the side, yep, turret, possible crit for five points with it. That was five. Yeah. Yep, for five. Yeah. And uh, a nine. Nine is. Turret locks. Turret locks in the front position. That's not terrible. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you notice we skipped the whole. Is it a crit? Right, yes, because skip it up here. Yeah, you, there's basically a chart you roll on on the view. I'll see if I can't pull up. I'll be sure you guys should be seeing it on I'll see it on the screen afterwards. You guys can see what the chart is and what the damage is, but like how it is with vehicles is different than mechs. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so then it was then one point to the seven on the right side. Oh yeah, and that's just armor I think I think I think I think side. Seven side. Yeah. Okay. Just and then I'll do a five and a three. So five to your five on the right side. Okay, that's probably going to be a motive, I think. Yes, that is a motive. Okay. Three seven points in front, and it's front of the No, that's not where I wanted the damage to go, but this is the roll. Come on, roll high. Pillbox on the seven. I seven. Do seven. Well, it's going to be the motive, not a crit. And right? it's the side. Oh, oh, you're right. So yeah. motive, yeah. And you cannot stack on stack. So you don't get like another plus one. Yeah, you just need to get better than what you were. Yeah. Yeah. So he's still doing good. And then and three points to the ten on the right ten. side. It's going to be the turret, I think. But we'll see. Side. Ten turret. Yep, straight up turret. Two points. That did not go as good as I wanted to. Ooh. So far, so good. Now for the. Yep, so now for my mech that's in the water. This is the water. And she's the one that's torso twisting, um, firing ATM standard ammo, so it's close range. Same thing with the pulse. I do have two woods that I'm shooting through. Standard ammo? It's close? Yep, they're... One, two, three, four, five, five. six. Or four, yeah, five. Yeah, five. five. Yep. Yeah, close range is five for standard yeah. ammo. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, um, society. Right. <laughs> so uh, she's a two, she jumped, makes it a five, and basically a plus three to that, so I need eight. Yeah. And then a six for the pulse. So we will start with the pulse, needing a six. Uh, it hits. Yeah. Okay. This is so also the left side. side. Left side? Yeah. yeah, the sides are on the yeah. big arcs. Uh, okay. Six is the side armor. Uh, left side, it's a six, right? Yep. Yeah. And that's the side armor. Yeah. So I'm needing, I'm not getting what I need, guys. I'm not planning, no. I didn't expect to destroy it in this initial salvo. My hope was to immobilize it. All right, ATMs need eights. Uh, missed with book. Wow. All right. Well. Oh, okay, physicals. So you. Well, have... first I need to throw my piloting skills. Oh, yeah, that's right. So yeah. my commander will start. He needs a three. He is good. Don't roll second. We'll do the one that we'll do the one that really matters last. Um, we'll do then my Wolfen, yeah. Tony Ward. She needs a four. Makes it. So now I'm going to regret doing this out of order. Now for Angel Valdor in the water, needs a four. Whew. Yeah. Okay. Now for physical. So uh, you've got it. two, you've got the claw. And yep, I'm going to be kicking the demolisher. We'll do that now. Yeah. And I've got a sword going into the back. Two, I ran four, your modifier five. My, so I need three to kick you. Kick the tank. So again, kick it over. Got it? Oh, yeah. And then it's full body. Right. Yeah. So this will be 15 points to the seven. Yeah, which is enough to get in. Could be enough to kill it. It's going to be close. Oh, it's going to be very close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One possible crit. So a crit. Yep. Uh, ten. Ten side is very good. Uh, weapon destroyed. Uh, side. So weapon destroyed. 
I can't remember, do you pick or do I pick or do we roll randomly? Uh, I think we need to roll randomly. Because I, I can't remember. See, there is no weapon in the side. So then I think then I think you, go you go up. up. You go up. So yeah. it's an engine hit. Yeah. That's what you need. Engine yeah, hit. that's good. Engine hit. Boom. Now is the seven a motive as well on the side? Uh, seven is weapon off. Well, I meant, I meant uh, on here. Is it oh, no, 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 it's just side. Just side. Okay, gotcha. No. All right. Well, yeah. that's, uh, how much does that slow you down by? Nothing. Nothing yet. Yeah. The engine hit might do something. We'll find out. Okay. And we'll, we're going to have to do some research in between because... Yeah, in between rounds just to find out all yeah. the... Yeah. yeah, we just got to make sure it's been a while since we've done this. Yeah. The, uh, the engine hit, don't know what the ramifications of that is in the tank at all. And... And other than that, yeah. That's the only yeah, we'll have to see. But well, because that's it, I want to confirm that you know, there should be a, a weapon in the side for the weapon to be hit. It's yeah, not, I, know that, I think you go up. Yes. I think go up on the chart. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah, we'll just, check. It's not there, yes. Yeah. You go up, you go more so Right now, for my backhand, so you go back to the right side of your screen, guys. So mm -hmm. the fight in the water, I basically torch the twist, and I'm doing a backhand. I need a nine. So, see if I hit. Ooh, I do. Oh my. Now, what I wouldn't mind doing is rolling a six. It is ring my bell. Ring your bell. All right, the then. arm. Yep. So that'll be right arm. Oh wait, is this your right side? No. Actually, well, I'm... yes, I will. It's the same difference. It's the same difference. Right arm or front? It'll be right arm for right. eight points. Eight points. And that's the arm that the no, it's not the arm the swords in. So interesting. Eight points. Yep. So while I'm swinging down. Left arm, so I torsion twisted to the right. Yep. Came down with the sword. He's coming down, swinging down, and I. And I'm batting your arm away. Out of the way, out of the way as, as yeah. I'm coming down with the sword. This yeah. is going to be. For an epic miss, is what it's going to Epic miss. Yeah. Yeah. Epic miss. So two, epic. I jumped, makes it uh, five, six, seven, eight, minus two, makes it six. Yep. Yeah. This one doesn't double like it is for. It is double. Oh, your TSM. Sure, well, down. but it's not like a kick or a hatchet. Well, yes, it's, it's not a fifth. It's only a tenth. Oh, I got you. Well, it's sort of a weird It, it could be a lot yeah. worse. So it's 12 points of damage. Yep. Wait, that's it? Yeah. It's a, oh. it's a small mess. Oh, that's right. Yeah, six points is what it normally would be, but 12 because it's hot. Because it's hot. Gotcha. So 12 or it could points be, is all I need. Would it be 24 if it was a hatchet? Uh, no, but for a hatchet for this size mech, this is 45, 9, and be 18. Oh, okay. So it's, it's actually not that. Yeah. 18, 12. Swords aren't too bad. So anyway, so I'm trying to pop this sword right into your back. I really don't care where. Is there any ammo in this thing? Uh, yes. Oh yeah. yeah. So hopefully where there's ammo. I'm trying to find out. Let's see where it goes. The sword goes into your leg, 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 arm, or right arm, right arm. How much? You can throw points. Ah, uh, we uh, cut it off. Oh, I cut off the round. Nice. What do you think? Nothing to blow up. Yeah, anything to transfer? Uh, not in charge of it. So off camera, we looked up the rules, and the engine hit on the tank has made it immobile. So, we have completed our mission. Um, Wolf did lose initiative, so I have to move one first. Um, you guys detect some comms going, um, obviously, but like more comms going between the mechs here. And uh, so my first move is going to be Tanya Ward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, yeah, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Although, since I might actually just jump. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I will. I'm just going to jump six. And you have no open. Nope. Mm. She is no, good. She has a black hair. No, she did. Yeah. Yeah, then get internal. So she gets into that level two water. 
minutes to y'all. The crew is not bailing from the tank. You hear some comments as well, by the way. Hmm. Crew is not bailing. If they they move Pauchy right there in the same hex. So we're jumping battle armor into the hex that you're in. Hmm. Okay. And they're sort of on the edge of your hex, trying to get between your mech and the tank. Mm. So you guys see Star Commander Marcus Shaw turn, raise his left arm with the hand, and then they salute to Angel Outdoor and steps off. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I Blackjack into the water and do some underwater shooting. Blackjack will like the cool one too. Yeah, I know it would. Uh, sure, go look. Jump forward. Mm. We're doing a. That's its right arm, which is. We're going to have to look into some. Uh, is it, is I, it, I just don't want to get kicked. Oh, I know. Is it missing its right arm or is it left arm? No. No, I'm not missing anything. Oh, that one. Oh, that's the one. I've been going underwater if I was missing one. Yeah, we want to do some underwater. We're about to look up the underwater rules. I haven't done this in a long time. One, two, three, four. Ooh, wait. They had in the back. Can't get around there. One, two, three. We could do that from above. Half damage. That's not right now. Okay. Can we add or go the opposite direction and try to help Well, you need your modifier, so you jump. Oh, that's actually I do. Yep. I jump six. Yep, so that's one, two, three. Okay. And then last but not least. Let's see. This thing jump. Uh-huh. Jump three. Jump three. And you can only shoot it, well, you still get to move. So you can actually pick where you're going to be. Yeah. So it almost doesn't matter. Just want to reduce the amount of fire coming at me. Yeah, so at least take the tank out of the equation and jump there. Angel Valdor. You probably want to make sure my target that I'm going to be shooting at is the Yu Huang. Or I probably will actually keep working on that demolisher. Just to really <laughs> take it off the board. Repair, destroy beyond repair. So yeah. five is three plus one is four. Mm. If you don't like buddy, you don't like cores or anything, you don't like that. So that a run? Yeah. It's eight. It was one, two, one for the elevation, one for the terrain. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then one eight. Yeah. And then you torso twist and do all sorts of yeah. things. What's, uh, what's the armor in the legs of the mimic here? I'm hoping you don't get to that stage. Yeah. <laughs> armor in the legs is 22. Uh, have you been hit there yet at all? I don't even uh, think I've shot it. No, you yeah. haven't. Yeah, I don't know. So this one is. Oh, okay. Yeah. And do you want to move the Yu Hong just right in front of him? Yeah, just to move it a little more. I mean, he can yeah. jump, he's that right? But... Well, he doesn't need to. One, two. Three. No, I didn't mean you, huh? I meant he, his character, his character. Oh, he, he can he, jump. I've already moved. But if he, yeah, no, if he him. survives this, then we, we, this is an epic fail. <laughs> the epic fail is Yeah, all right. So, yeah, this is going to be a epic, epic battle. Basically, it's going to be what I'm thinking is going to happen is going to be a glorious end, a warrior's death for a clan warrior. And uh, hopefully she can take mm -hmm. someone out with her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So they claim both abandoning troops on the field. <laughs> oh yes, I can't wait till the next propaganda video comes out. <laughs> Talking about this one. Oh, that's there to learn. <laughs> Yep, so we're starting this battle here, the big Yu Huang, into the wounded warwolf angel outdoor going out. Except this all is only one arc. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So, Gunner Rider Wolf Angel Outdoor is your two, you walk three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight for the gals. Do it. Come on, dead. Nope. Three. Alright. Okay. Now for all the lasers. Now for all the lasers. Now these only get six and they don't have One, two, three hits so far. Okay. Grab three. Sweet. Is that Rob? Is this location or did it? Uh, all miss. Wow. Yeah, that would actually be good. Alright. Well, I don't move me on it. Don't move me on it. I know. Great locations. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's easy. Yep. That's what we're saving it for. We're yeah. saving the next little thing in the headshot. Yes. And so, I mean, the headshot doesn't matter. It's the right torso and the. No, no, no. We're not going to repair it. So, just going to do my return shot into the Vindicator. Mm hmm. So, she's a two. Good job. Mount is another kill. Five. This is the other model. <laughs> Six with your modifier, so I need a couple sixes. This is when it should have been in the gun. The gun is, um, Oh, yeah, that's right. So, brown guys would be the HEs, gray guys would be the standard. Eight sixes. And. There we go. I did miss one. You did, but I did. But I hit with the HEs. Okay. So, how many? That's average. That'll get me 15 points of damage. Okay, On your right side. Right leg. Is it like three, three down or not? Uh, you got the right leg already? What else? Uh, oh wait, it is the right side. It's the right side. So yeah, it's actually going it's to the be... the right arm. That's yeah. going to be right arm, okay. left arm, and left torso. Okay, got it. <clears throat> Alright, now for underwater. I'll, get, I'll start off with my little plane damage. Yeah. Which could be huge. Yeah. Just need to open something up. Yep. Although you can't. No, you can. Darn, because I'm just listening to you. Yep. Yep, you can. I was about to say, ah. What? Um, oh. Left arm. I mean, torso. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 But no. I would have not been able to do that. Uh, Ooh. I did hit. Is that it? Yep. I need a five. Okay. okay. That's a six. What do I want to hit? I just want to know what my target. What do I need to hit? I don't think it's going to open you. I mean, you said is the biggest thing. I mean, you can flip them right there. Done. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that with 10 points. No, you <laughs> can. Um, containment, every time you get hit. Oh, that's right, it is. That's right. So yeah, underwater, every time you hit, because we don't have hard show. We're not the special variance to fight underwater. So if you really hit, there's a chance. Right torso. Right torso for 10. Well, that's okay. bad too. <clears throat> okay. And which dice do you want to roll, Rob? All right, we'll go death head, and we're going to go with the uh, bottom one there, the uh, club gun to one. You know, we just need one real quick for that one right there. This one. We roll the one. We roll box first. Not four, but five. Yeah. No, no break. I know uh, it's a ten. I can't remember if, it, if we ever roll a ten. It's either a ten or better, and you guys are probably screaming, we know this. You know, it's, yeah. it's either yeah. ten or better, or better than ten, mm -hmm. then you have a breach. Uh, All right. Okay. So <clears throat> great to receive. Okay. You guys have a much better chance just to breach me no matter what. That's the idea. That the idea is just scatters. Okay. So I mean, it really doesn't matter. Just go down the list. Or big, big, does it? or big, big down. Okay. Oh, big no. first. Okay, big first. So one large laser. Which one? I don't think we're talking about the large laser in the. Uh, well, we have two large lasers. We do. Okay. Uh. Okay, Capellans, they're going to go for it. Okay, yeah. they're going to open this up. So a two, jump five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. And, oh. <coughs> All right, ten. let me get that out of the way. All right, okay. now. Now we got two medium lasers. So we're going to go. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. 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 
So actually, two medium pulse lasers need sixes. Yeah. Two medium pulse lasers need sixes. Just needing hits. Got one hit. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then. Where to go? Location. Six points on your right side. Yeah. I think it's left arm. Left arm. Let's say ten to the right. Yeah. Is left arm. Okay. So left arm for six points. Six. Okay. And then containment. Right. <coughs> Roll low. Seven. Yes. Okay. Okay. And now we have the two medium lasers. Yeah. <coughs> Roll both. And Got lasers. Got one. Got one. one. Okay. And now we need an eight. Come on, eight. Here's our eight. Darn. Six. six. Left leg. A uh, right leg. A uh, right leg. Yeah, right leg. Yeah. Right leg. Containment. This would be good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guess we have Why do we have to roll a 10? <laughs> oh, I think you're lucky. No, no, you're not. Whenever an underwater unit takes a hit that inflicts damage, the controlling player rolls 2d6. On a result of 10 or greater, the unit's hull has been breached. The unit has lost integrity in that location and it fills with water. So we probably need to look at what happens whenever your criticals in your leg are non functional. Because the lake's not actually destroyed. Right, it's not really no, destroyed. Because right. if you get critted out, you can still move. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll buy that. So let's just do that. So, yeah. So that's the hip. Because the hip overrides yeah. the other actuators. So, so we'll just go with that. Yeah, we'll just go with that. We'll, just, we'll treat it as though critical hit and everything in your leg. Right. So you're going to have a foot, lower, upper, or hip, and hip, crypt, essentially. Yeah. And then your net, you ignore when you have a hip. <clears throat> all the others, so right. the hip is plus two. So you're going to have everything in a plus two. Right, but my speed though. Your speed is half. Is half with the hip, right? Okay. And if you run, you actually punch the score. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, I need to do then to probably secure the rules. There's still more, more shots. Oh, more shots. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those are the two medium lasers. And yep. uh, so last but not least, there's only one shot coming in, so it's not like. It's a small laser. It a, could be. Which one? Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my, they hit. Small laser. Yeah. There's a small laser go. Maybe it's this whole leg thing you just looked at. This right? It is, oh, it's the other torso. Left torso. torso. So this could be huge. Are you it could. Please roll low. Okay. Okay. Now, so does that mean I need to make. No, one, two, three, four. Just four volumes, because you did take 20 points of damage. Or did you? No, you didn't. I did 11, not. Yeah, 14. Okay. Yeah. So, so, but I needed to make four piloting skill checks. You have four piloting skills at plus two. So, so four fives. <laughs> you can do it. You four. One, two, yeah. three, three. And four. Four. Easy. Yeah. I have as your entire right leg seizes up, it's like yeah. almost. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, now you get to kick me. Almost yeah, straight. Maybe this will knock you down. Okay. Straight there. Which one you want? Death head. Death head? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see, do we want to. Uh, I will try to punch you. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Do we want to do this? Well, like, you're on three. Leg. That's it's the leg. right leg. That's but being kicked is another pawn skill, is what it's nice. If you hit that, well, I mean, I'm already flooded there. Yeah. That's why I'm saying. How much damage leg. would you do? Uh, I think it's 10. 10. 10. Uh, well, you want to quite kick it off. You don't must kick it off. Oh, really? Okay, so it matters. Yeah. Okay. So there'd be one point of structure left to be hit. So 3, jump 6, 79 minus 2, 7. But underwater damage is halved. Oh, so it's even. Okay. So we have to lose case because the punch would be. Well, we can't do punches because we did. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Do go for it or not? I mean, I it's a risky move. Alright, go for it. You're going, okay. Going for it. The pilot's down there underwater. He's going to try a swift kick. Got it. Yeah, very good. Okay, that's good. That's another punch. What's well, an auto hit on my. Oh, we're checking that. I wouldn't do my punch. Yeah. I need an eight. That's it, that's it. A mighty three points. Yeah, well, it's the... We're 
shoes. Uh, Senator Torso for three. It's not good. Now, if you could just roll a 10 for me. I know. <laughs> Which one? Don't. I'm going to blame them. No, oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Ah. Oh, ultra, ultra, ultra. All right. Roll yeah. as normal. Yeah, yeah, we can just call, call it. You want to just call it? Let's call it half points. Call it half yeah, points? Okay. Yeah, we're just going to call it half points because it's, it's. You need a three to six standing. Make it. Oh, shh. Well, six on the Ready? Let's do it. There we go. This is oh, yeah. Which ones were too large? Too large? It'll be the... Okay, so two did not move. Short range. No modifier. Okay. Wait, is this all my kids? I don't know. If your modifier is a two, then yeah. 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 Okay. So locations. locations. Eight points of damage. Okay, so we got, oh gosh, right torso. Uh, BB then. And right leg for eight. So both are eight. So right torso and right leg for eight points. Uh, that's it. Oh, it is? Yep. Because it blows off the right leg and then armor on the right torso is gone. Oh, okay. So. And floods. Oh, yep. yeah, it has the XXXXL. Yep, double XL engine. Okay. Oh, you want to see? <laughs> I we finally got one. We, 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 got, one. That's it. we got the magic beat. We did not get one. Right. No, we still got the kill. That's it. Oh, Alrighty. So, so far, the counter strike has been effective. Effective. Yes. Now, now you survived the counter strike. About five minutes. Right. Yes, so about five minutes from now. <laughs> Um, a fresh star of elementals plus the star commander Shaw and um, pro actually just the star commander now coming back. Basically to, um, I don't know, see what we can do now. The main thing is to destroy the demolisher so it cannot be functional for the rest of the battle. But uh, we've gotten some more losses here that we're going to have to reconsider. So we'll, we'll see when we come back for the second half of this battle. Okay, we are now five minutes later, and over here, Tanya Ward has was captured and surrendered under, even though the Capellans don't follow these rules, she surrendered under the rules of the clans, and is currently not offering any resistance. It's a warrior house. And this is how the Capellans have decided to set up to meet Star Commander Shaw and his Star of Elementals. 25 elemental warriors that are about to jump on this map are frothing at the mouth, ready for some re vengeance for their fallen comrade. And it would be nice to be able to hold the actually forced Capellans to withdraw if the fury of the elementals can be strong enough. Because we still have another mech, another resource that's in a in a repair bay here. But we can't allow our losses to exceed too much more. It's already been, this has already exacted more of a toll than uh, we wanted it to. The Capellans, we must save this Earl for launcher. Yep. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, we're getting orders from Hanzang Sukov or Zan. No, yeah, uh, Hanzang. Zin. Ah, uh, Victor. Yang Zeng. Ying Zeng, Ying Zeng Victor Sukov. Ying Zeng Victor Sukov is sending orders to the team saying you will not let them destroy that demolisher. You will keep that tank alive at all costs. <laughs> all right. This is last arrow for launcher. It does not move. Okay, so the Wolves won initiative. So um, we're almost even. I have six units coming in. You've got seven. seven. So it'll be one for ones until. Until it is not. Until it is not. Until the end. Hey, I guess our first one had to lose the tank. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and the tank is crude. Yes, it is. Yep, crude and technically immobile. Yep. Oh, wait, it's really a net, net minus three, is what it is. Gotcha. All right. 
So, coming in on Jets of Fire, the Star Colonel comes in and lands in this level 2 water here. In level 2 water. Shoot. And since it's a straight up shot, he makes it automatic. Steam coming off the water? Yes. Here he comes! And then a big splash. No, not a big splash. He's clean. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> Minimal splash. Yeah. Yeah. I give it a 9.8 dive. The Interstellar News Network is on the beach over here. Yes. And he, he puts down his Mai Tai and he raises up a couple of cards that say 0 1. Mm -hmm. And then he looks at him and he switches them. <laughs> Marcus Shaw is a. Uh, a very far away descendant of Greg Luganis, apparently. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> That explains the bruise on the back of his head from hitting the diving board. Somewhere. Yeah. Dean Devon, 3 h 2 Plop. Right next to you. I'm assuming he's a two pilot as well? Yes. Okay. Another pilot drops right in next to you. And. So four, um, that's one plus one jumping two. Ooh, I'm just curious. Needed a three for that. Just in case I didn't do it, got a ten. So that's just to make up pilot school. Chances of losing are slim. Actually, no, we want to have high modifiers to start. So, one, two, I'm gonna jump into these woods here. So, right behind the blackjack. Or not behind, but in the blackjack. Oh, in the blackjack. Okay. Oh, that's good. The demonstrator crew's like, yes! Swivel those meteor blazers! <laughs> Boy, yeah! They went that way! Psst, there's like four or five more to go, dude. <laughs> Okay, we're going to maximize the number of units in that hex. Don't you think? Put the battle armor in there and start having fun? Or not? Okay, so we now have two non mech units and a mech unit I know in the hex. I'm battle armor and battle armor are fun, so go for it. I'm sorry, I just went to camera. I might actually get to use my battle claw. Yes. You have to figure out how that works. Yeah. Okay, Don't so worry. everything's in the blackjack. Yes, yeah, the book has everything. That's right. Three. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they made, um, you know, they made that clan's starter set. The, yeah. I wonder if that has the clan rules in the... It does. Its rule book is different. It has battle on rules. It doesn't. That's what cool. You want me to, uh... And just go in there and play with them, or? Yep, I'll go in there. Or wait, there what? You, yeah, okay, yeah, probably play with them next. Yeah. I agree. Yep. So jump, and what's so three? Okay. Yep. Send another one in here. Yep, and then get two. No, same, same things. Yep. So two squads. I used one squad, and that the will be for shredded and shredded, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, they might, they might survive. Who knows? We'll see. I haven't seen Interstellar Battle Armor against Clan Battle Armor in a long time. Yes. <laughs> Especially in this close proximity for potential melee in each other. Yeah. Let's just have the blackjack back up one. Oh, here? But then he can run out, right? Yeah, we need to save this tank. Yeah. Let's just back it up one.
have one more unit left. One more. And they joined in, so we have now yep. three units in there, so it's yep, so got almost max. Three units of battle armor here, three units of battle armor there. Yeah. You guys should have two left, right? Yeah, we gotta move them both. And Yu Hong just takes the back. So that's point number three. Wait, there's so three over here. Oh, we're going to need to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we were going to the ones that are right there with us. Okay, so there are three. So seven? Wait, is that me? Yep. Death end. Is that what you want? Death end? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I need seven. And you got a five. Ah, okay. So that's yeah. all over. There's no more friends over there. Okay. Okay, the next, next point. Okay, so. Let's have the plasma. Are you guys focusing out. on one or are you guys splitting? Splitting. So okay. these two big Macs are going against that one. And then the troopers, tanks, and blackjack are against that one. Okay. So let's do this one first. This one first. All right. So this will be point number four. Number four. Okay. So. That's you, right? Uh, you want. Er, yeah, okay. You want plasma so I thought you said two. Yeah. Plasma Okay. So at a walk. So two, walk three. So sevens? Sevens, yep. Make sure there's no minimums or anything here. Sevens, and we're going to fire on two strikes. So first, the plasma being sevens. Uh, hit and hit. Oh, wow. That's two nice. troopers. Let's find out trooper number, trooper number two and four. Each take ten. Okay. And then streaks, there's two of them. Yep. And one hit. So, two missiles. So that's round two, right? Yep, that's round two streak. Two missiles. 
Well, trooper one and four. Trooper three and five. That's a good start. No, it's only one. It's only one fire, so two, so twenty. And is this the fire guys? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so the plasma does nothing to it. If there wasn't, then you guys would roll to do even more death. Right. Well, really, yeah, we're wondering how that works. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's a chart we have to look up, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Heat damage against infantry and battle armor is is, not, is really bad. Yeah. And then the Yu Huang. So over to you, Rob. Okay, Yu Huang, we'll do our typical close combat. Uh, yeah. uh, not that typical. The dog's right first? Yep. Same, same, same tree? Yes, same okay. tree. That was the, that the uh, function. Yeah, same one. Okay, so you're uh, you you did walk back one, so it's three. Oh, yeah. It's so seven. Yeah. Seven. Well, you can tell them which push get the snakes. Yeah. Okay. You know, same yeah. one. One. Oh, six. There's a half. Okay. Now for the mediums. Hit by a spirit fireball. Well, we got all three of those. Do you want me to roll locations or another round of hits? Um, go for locations, go for it. Okay. You get three, so just take one each color. So trooper one takes five, trooper five takes five. Trooper four takes five. Oh, four, four, four is dead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now the other one. And we got a miss, a hit, and a hit. Troopers two and five. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well done. And then, okay, now going to the other point. Okay. So, give me a reach it. Where you got it? Yeah, I got it. This one, right? Number two. Number two. It's like number two. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Well, two medium answers. Four eight. Oh my goodness. Revenge of the tank. Yeah. Five points each. Troopers number two and three. Two and three. That's a start. And then the blackjack. Uh, firing short range missile array. Let's see. Um let's make sure. Thirty-one walked. It's not firing the small. I'm gonna regret that. Yeah. Not firing the small either. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're firing everything but the PPC. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here goes two arches. It's two, it walks three, plus four sevens. So I hit two arches. This is good. One and three take eight. He is dead. Okay. And pulses need two better. Let me make sure I have two pulses in this one. Yep. So let's get two, three, seven, minus fives. And hit and hit. And these are six points each. Troopers one and five. One is dead. Nice. And the medium lasers, back at sevens. Uh, miss and hit. Five points. Trooper number three. Already dead. One. Already dead. I like that. Three. Three. Four. Okay. Five points, trooper number four. And then small lasers, see if it matters. Oh. It's better. Does it hit? It does not hit. No. no. Okay. And then last but not least, the battle armor. Which one do you want? Me, I'm going to put the, uh, the blue one there. Mm -hmm. Oops, blue. Okay. So three sevens. Yes! How many hit? The horse back. It looks like uh, seven. seven. Did you have three or still? I don't know, four. Yeah, that'll be three. That'll be three. Nice. 
Okay, and these are small lasers for three points of damage. So number three, <laughs> number, these are all dead, right? Five for three? Five for three, okay. Yeah, that works. Five for three, and five for three less. Okay, so we're four. Four for three. And so... Alright, so into the demolisher. Into the demolisher, yes. We'll let you do the, right. the coup de gras here. Is this we'll with, see. Is this with missiles too? Yeah, we're fine yeah, everything with this one. Through the woods? Yeah, not that you're... Two, three, short range. And these guys are twos? Threes. Threes, okay. Three. Uh, so I need a five for the missiles, and I need a seven for the pulses. Yep. So, pulses first. Stay. Get the kid. Yeah. And I'll mini. Oop, and that'll be three. Oop, oop. Prayer. This will be on your right side. Yeah. What do you do here? So, to the 11, three points. Turret. For three. Got it. Three for three points. Motive method that matters. Side. It is up on three. Possible crit. Three. That means me. Seven. Yep. Okay. And then seven. Seven. I think seven is just straight up side. Yes. And that's destroyed. Okay. So the torso is destroyed on that. And the tank, I think. I'd say it takes a repair. Yeah. Okay. I would agree. Yeah. And I'll park their ammo. Arg. One. Spike the SRMs. Okay. Alright, underwater, you get to shoot. Yep. Here goes nothing. Okay. This is Bindi. So plus one, so I'm a four gunner. And I jump there, so that makes me seven. You got a two modifier, so nine, right? Nines plus your pulses coming down. Yeah. I'm assuming this has pulses. It does. Yeah. So I need 20 points, so it's going to be two medium pulse lasers, a small pulse laser. Small laser and ear medium laser. Yep, that's it. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, sevens for the two medium pulse lasers. And hit and hit. Yes. And it's on your right, left side. Your left side. Side, so your left arm, I think, and your center torso. Six each. Six points left arm, six points center torso. Here okay. two critical water. Well, my left arm is breached. Oh, wow. But nothing's in there. Okay. That means that's a, a swordless punch. Yeah. Yeah. That's the punch that we have chance to get into nothing. Yes. Actually, that was breached as soon as I jumped in. I forgot it was already open. Oh, wow. But it was a uh, nothing in there, so not a big deal. So let's see. The torso? No. Okay. Dang. I'll keep on going. going. Yep, keep on going. So we got an ER medium laser, the nines. Uh, ooh. Jeez. Wow. Okay. You're going to do water test these dice before you get <laughs> They've been going very high. They've been very high. Ah, that's the uh, left arm. Okay. So five points on that. So the last two were six points. This one's five points. And then last but not least, needing seven for a small Got it. And three points. Three points to the left torso. Left torso. That was the. That was left arm that got that. Yeah. The first one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just make 
sure I said that. And uh, left arm is going off. Left arm is going off. Nice. Okay. Okay. Well, with that, uh, did I do enough for applying 12 plus 5, 6, 7, 8, barrel length? Yep. So need a 3. Make it. Okay. So. And you're only getting one punch. Yep. So you punch. 2, 5, 7. Need a 7. Oh, goodness. It's not. Oh, darn. Come on, just punch in the head. Oh, no. Wow. Oh. For eight points. What's really important is the, uh, okay, so I take a head hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank goodness it's not breached. <laughs> oh. At least not yet. And then, uh, let's roll. see, here's the breach for rolling. Oh, so, so, uh, it's like, it's gonna do it. Woo, that was close. And then coming back at you, so uh, I'm two, I jumped, three, four, five, six, seven, sword would take down to five. Unless you try king. No, I'm not try. Sword. Yeah, it's style. Uh, I know. It's, it's, same, it's the same modifier, just less damage. That's a hit, definitely. It's that same modifier. I mean, how many twelves have those dice rolled today? So many. Oh, so many. Now, Ben, let's not talk about rolling 12. Oh. I, I wasn't rolling 12, Rob. No. So this is this has been at least no, five or six 12s. Not today. Not yeah, just on those times. No, I'm, I'm not. I mean, from the last time I didn't roll that many 12s. Tell yeah. about your birthday. Oh, yeah, birthday. Of the <laughs> let's see where this sword goes. Ooh, six, six. on the left, left, leg. left leg. So left leg gets hit. And what happened? For five points? No, 12. Or no, half damage. Six. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Your damage was only four. Punch. Right, because half damage. Yes. Yeah. That's a little bit. That's a little bit better than face it. All right, so six damage to the left leg. It's all that Ah, oh, you made it. OK. That's underwater. It's scary down there. You're just going to walk out, right? Yes. Yeah, you're just going. Yeah, this is, I mean, we got the demolisher, but uh, not the, the cost was not, yeah, this is not good overall for my forces. Just, yeah, but yeah, yeah regardless go. of initiative, yeah, you just, can't, just yep, you can't stop us. You can't, yeah, just go. Yep. Basically, we withdraw, we've destroyed the artillery launcher, but effectively lost three mechs. Yeah, and a point of all minutes. Uh, no, you didn't wipe out an entire No, no, point. effectively. No, but combined. Oh, combined, yes. Yeah, you killed three, actually six. Yeah, so overall. Six yeah. elemental warriors. Yeah. So yeah, it was, uh, this was a good counter-strike by the Capellans. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Capellans did better, but some strategic losses. Jade Marsh, you guys have already gone to the entrance. And Yep. Made your way to the secret underground research R and D facility. Correct. And uh, yeah, so yeah. this the uh, again we'll do the recaps of this strategic turn and our the ways that we've been doing them. And yeah, we'll see what happens. What responses will happen from the Capellans and from the wolves? For that's me. So yeah, we've got ourselves a campaign. So thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take it easy.